Hey folks, Micah McGee here. In today's video, we're gonna be making butter. As a foundation for this video, we'll say butter comes from the milk fat from milk, typically from a cow. And we milk our own cow here. Mr. Joel usually does the milking. The milk gets strained and put in clean jars. What happens is the milk fat separates from the milk. So you got this and you got this. The cream is more valuable than the milk for obvious reasons. Fat's always more valuable. <laughs> Down here in the South, they call this Blue John milk. I don't know, I guess it just kind of has a blue hue to it. But we're gonna make butter with the cream. I'm gonna show you exactly the most basic way that you can make cream. Take a dipper. Do not shake the milk up because the cream will reassimilate into the milk. When milk is homogenized for store purposes, it does not separate again. And I don't know that process, exactly how that process works, but if I understand right, it's not really good for your system. So we enjoy using it. Now, when we drink this milk at home, we always shake a little cream into it because Blue John milk just ain't it ain't got no strength to it. So I'm gonna skim this out. And while I do, I'm gonna say, this video is dedicated to a lady named Barbara that lives in Birmingham, England. Hello, McGee. My mother's name is Barbara. Her son, by the name of Harry, super, super good friends of this channel. And I did a firewood cutting video a few weeks ago and he told me, said, Mom said you cut that wood like butter. And I said, hey, I just need to make her a butter video. He's like, okay, let's do it. So this butter, you would think a homesteader would make a, have a butter video. I've been at this for three years. I haven't made a butter video yet. It's high time. So what I'm doing is I'm carefully skimming this cream off. Careful not to mix it the milk in with it. I've got several subscribers that have been with me since pretty much the very beginning and Harry and his mom are definitely one of them. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. We're just about to hit 20,000 subscribers. Before you see this video we will have already hit 20,000 subscribers but each and every one means something to us. I just tell you, if when you comment and I can actually see it, put a name to the view, it really does make a difference. I like to get views, don't get me wrong. I'd I like to get a million views on every video. And obviously, if I got a million comments on every video, there's no way I could keep up. But comments are very special to me. Now, I got a little bit of cream here. I clean that up. Mmm. Cream has a very good taste. Now, this is quite cold. This came out of the fridge. It'll make butter a little quicker if the cream is warmed up a bit. But I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna go in the house where I can get comfortable and we're gonna make butter with this right quick. All right, we're in the house. This is the jar of cream. The way that butter is extracted from cream separated from the buttermilk is you basically beat it out. You just have to pound it. And so butter churns, the way the old butter churns worked and different ways that they do it, all has to really agitate that cream. So the simplest way, the most basic way, is just to shake it. And as this shakes, it'll start expanding. You'll, you'll notice the jar gets fuller and fuller as you do that. And so I'm gonna guess that on average it takes about five or five to 10 minutes if you shake it good and hard like this for it to pound that butter out. And when it does, you're gonna see the separation. And this here is kind of a, a cream color, but well, of course it's cream. But when the butter separates out, if it's Jersey cream, the butter is quite yellow and you will see it clearly. You won't have any doubt. While I'm shaking this, I'll take a time to tell you our annual Popsicle Stick Bridge Contest is coming up shortly. 
So you'll be wanting to watch that. A lot of you have seen the past two. We do one every year, and this will be the third year that we've done it. So this one right here is Caleb's first round. He's never made one. He's always just watched, and the other boys and myself make them. So this year, I've got four boys entering the contest plus myself, and it's just so much fun to build these things and see how much weight they hold before they break. That's probably something that'll be coming up in February, I believe, is when you'll be seeing that video. One thing you can do to help, you can hit it on your knee, hit it on a chair, just don't break your jar. We do like butter, we use butter a lot, but we buy our butter because our cream is so good in coffee and in eggs and stuff that we just hate to... You can't do both if you use it all up. I guess I need to get three or four cows. My boys wouldn't like that though. Almost too full. They can't hardly shake. I think I put too much in. It's <laughs> filling up to where it won't shake very much. It's filled all the way, all the way up to here. And a lot of that is air where it's getting bubbles in it. But still, that slows the process down. I kind of messed up. It's best to have half a jar. Only fill your jar halfway. I filled it too full. I'm just going to have to pour some out. I could sit here and shake it all day long. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't fill it up that full, but that's where it is now. So I'm going to, basically what we're doing, I guess we're making whipped cream. Get a, get a lid for a small mouth jar, Matt. You can shake the other one. <laughs> That's what you can do when you got multiple boys. Now that is shaking a lot better now. It's actually flying back and forth, pounding at the ends of the jar. And I know, let's have a little contest, see who can get there to make the quickest. Does a pint make quicker than a quart? I don't know, let's shake it. Matt here's got a bridge in the contest he's building right now. So that bridge is Matthew's, and David's bridge is right here. Joel's bridge is right here, and my bridge is right here on the stove drying. So we're excited about competing in that contest. Usually we make more money at the contest than what we spend on the entry fee, but We'll see this year what happens. Last year there was some pretty stiff competition. So me and Matthew right now, we're trying to compete on this cream shaking and we'll see directly what happens. Man, this, this is ridiculous. My half jar filled all the way up here now. I'm gonna have to pour it in yours. <laughs> uh, is yours swelling up? No, it's still down here. You'll beat me. For some reason, this just keeps adding up. <laughs> it's a good thing I poured some out. It would have blew this jar up. Hold it right there. Hold it. Hold it. You got butter. He beat me, folks. You can definitely get it quicker if you do less. And I'm left with this big old cord. It's filled back up, plumb up to the brim. I don't know what I'm doing. You can tell. McGee don't know what he's doing. This is the second time I've dumped it out. Look how full it is. It's ridiculous. It's like the cream that keeps growing. Unbelievable. It'd be a shame if Matt beats me again. <laughs> look at that look on his face. He would be excited if he could beat me again. Oh, this is a good chore for you if you got children and you got a uh, milk cow. I guess you could go to the store and buy cream and have them shake it, but. Well, that would be a good little project if you wanted to do an experiment with your children. Maybe you're homeschooled. Go to the store, get some thick whipping cream. Bring it home, shake it until you make butter and just see what happens. 
You could put it in a mixing bowl or something, let that do the work for you. But what kind of fun is that? Look at this boy right here. He is having so much fun. This is the way to go. Just the look on his face of pure joy when he sees that cream give forth butter. Oh boy, Matt, you did it again. Mine is not separated and yours is. Uh, how did he do that? I'm shaking just as hard as I can shake and he's beating me. Look, he's already done that. Now he's done that. And here I sit, shaking. Here, finish that. <laughs> ah, he's doing good. So that makes me think that maybe if you shake it in smaller batches, you'll come out ahead. I don't know. But I'm about to get this when I can feel it changing. You'll feel it thicken up and then you'll feel it start to sort of limber back up. As the butter breaks free from the buttermilk, you end up with more of a very liquid consistency with the chunk of butter in there. I'm starting to get there now. You can hear it. If you got your ear trained, you can hear the difference when it starts pounding that bottom. Butter's breaking free. We are done. Look here. There's your butter. Okay, the next thing you have to do is really, if it's warm, the butter's going to be almost at the melting point and you can't fool with it. You'll lose it. So stick it in your refrigerator at this point. Get it good and hard. When it gets cold, it gets hard. And then is the best time to wash it out, get it salted, and get it molded. I'm going to pour it all back in here and show you what one, one gallon of milk. This is the cream that came from one gallon of milk. And I didn't get all the cream because, as I said before, we like to have some of it in our milk when we drink it. We don't like skim Blue John milk, that's just nasty. So there is quite a bit of butter in there. I'm gonna throw it in the refrigerator, cool it off a little bit, and we will proceed to wash it and get it fixed up. What do you think about my butter, son? I like it, I like it, I like it. Did you ever see it made like that, son? Yeah, I did. You got a lot of experience. No, but we, we, we used to make butter. Did you? We used to make them in whole cakes. In whole cakes? Yeah, you know. Like, did you shake it like that or did you have a churn? We had a churn. Well, churn. You lived it up in your life, son. <laughs> Look at it. What do you got in that cup, son? Nothing. <laughs> 
trying to make me mean at you. Miss Joe up in uh, Canada, she said she didn't think it was just pure coffee. She thought that you had a little something else doctored in there. Who was that now? Joe up in Canada. Oh, tell her she's sweet. <laughs> Hey, old man, where are you going? I'm going by. Why? For the Don't leave. Not the Don't leave. Bye. <laughs> you old monkey. <laughs> All right, we've got this butter properly chilled. It's basically hard as a rock. I'm going to take this off. <clears throat> if I can get this off, it's kind of stuck. So I'm just going to run my... Fingers in here and work it. Okay, here she comes. My wife's got this nice little butter dish. We're just gonna pop it right out. If I can get the lid off without breaking it. And pop it right in here. And there you go. Mm. Boy, that tastes good. I love, so I love salty butter. But that right there is butter that is the best flavor that you can get. You can see that coloration, it's yellow. A lot of butter that you get at the store comes from Holstein cows, they don't produce yellow cream. Jersey produces a rich yellow cream and a lot of it per gallon. So if you want butter and you're thinking about a cow, I would suggest you looking at the milk cows that produce a rich cream. So that's the video. We hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you make your own butter and enjoy it with the family because it is good stuff. You can use it for cooking. You can put it on bread and just spread it on and eat it however you want, but it's good stuff. That's all we've got for you. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.